photography factual. Cats. They exist in a dazzling array of shapes. Pete Haynes, Mark Payne Gill, Luke Barnett. Big cats, an amazing and animal sorry. family. But despite their differences, they all share one thing. Every cat on the planet, every lion, leopard, and even our humble house cat are all part of the same amazing animal family. They're watching us. <laughs> Who are they watching? All of us. Why are they watching you? Because they do not want us to spread the sick to anyone if we have the sick. Ben Steele, the children who beat Ebola. Did you have the sickness? No, I don't have. And your mom and dad? They are dead. I'm sorry. Andrew Muggleton, Handmade Metal. When one dog tires, there's always another member of the team to take up the lead. Camera team, The Hunt. The dogs now have the numbers to bring the wildebeest down. Each bite risks a broken jaw, but going for the legs is the only way to stop it. And the BAFTA goes to the camera team for the hunt. I'm here with my two minders. Um, <laughs> obviously, this is for um, everybody who isn't here tonight. Um, it's a huge crew at Silverback, and we're very grateful to all the men and women. Um, it's really fantastic. And to our families who put up with us never being at home. So yeah. thank you all. It's, yeah. real, it's a real honour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, you hold it up there. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, How's it amazing. Feel? Brilliant. Just, yeah, it's heavy. It is heavy. <laughs> oh, okay. I meant emotionally. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> emotionally, it's heavy. Yeah. Um, what are the challenges for you guys when working with wildlife? Because obviously a massive amount of it is out of your control. You know what? It's mostly time. Yeah, it's all about time for us. And the great thing about these projects is they offer us enormous amounts of time and that's the difference between mostly what we do and what you know everyone else does yeah, okay. is we get the the time in the field and the ability to get close to animals and get to know them and then really unpick the behavior and turn it into pieces of television and when you're th that close to them I is it difficult to kind of be unemotional I suppose when they're potentially going to get Killed in front of your eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what? Do you know what? Um, concentrate on a lot of other things. Yeah, you, you don't have time. <laughs> okay. No, no. You're too busy trying to make everything go along. Right. To be honest, yeah. and it's only after I think you get that chance. And we all, you know, we live with humans. They're much more dangerous than yeah, animals. Yeah, so true. we're kind of, I think yeah. we're much happier out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's a nice place to be, right? It's a nice office environment. The, I yeah, imagine. most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. Are there any sequences from the hunt that you particularly go back to? You know, when you come in after a couple of drinks and go, man, that was good. I think the thing <laughs> about the hunt good. was, um, from my point of view, was how 
far the photography went yeah. and lots of it was down to this guy here yeah absolutely you know, uh, Jamie kind of took a camera that was that we normally use has normally been used on the underside of a helicopter and just stuck it on every vehicle that you could possibly imagine and honestly the first time I watched the wild dog sequence which is the sequence that just came up in the titles yeah. there the hairs in the back of my neck just went off I was like this is so different and yeah. so special yeah. you know and we just felt like we're producing you know or at least Jamie and us and his <laughs> kind of falling along behind we're producing something completely different really yeah. special yeah oh. <laughs> no, it's true though it's oh. the tigers it's the emotionally tigers. heavy I hear <laughs> you now <laughs> yeah. but it's true the tiger sequence for me was the one absolutely I've never seen tigers shot like that before Thank and you. it took us to a new place and that's what we should be doing we should be bringing people into a new space yeah. and, and you did that with that work it was mm. amazing there's a whole bunch of different ways to do that in wildlife photography mm -hmm. and this is definitely one but it's sort of Jamie's created this space for us all to inhabit yeah. now you know it's about getting close and personal and just taking the intimacy to a new level mm. you know and and once you're there then bits of behavior that would normally just end up in the cutting room form become enormously important like the way that a tiger puts its foot down on the ground when it's stalking you know it's just I think we're all foot. jealous a bit we're a bit like oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, fair enough. Just got the old camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Well, it's like a, a team effort. Total it is totally, team. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, the guys back them, in Bristol yeah. were yeah, yeah. Do without them. Amazing crew of people. You yeah. Silverback employ the best people in the business. The producers, the production crew, the you know, they are extraordinary. And there's no way. I mean they get us to these incredible places. And this we is just the first time a blue chip's been done outside the um, the kind of the umbrella of the BBC Natural History okay. and the Alistair Fothergill and Keith Scully mm -hmm. set up a, an external production production company, got the contract to produce the hunt, and I don't know, killed it. Nailed yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed yeah. it. Amazing. Yeah, Nailed the trust, it. But the trust they put in us to allow yeah. us to do these things is yeah. yeah we can so, what's that next that. for you guys? We're our working planet. on a yeah, yeah. really lovely new project called Our Planet for Netflix. With Silverback. With mm. Silverback, oh, yeah. Amazing. Which is, um, it's only going to be another three years okay. yeah. Yeah. before you see anything <laughs> from any of us ever again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you'll be back here in another three years getting another yes, one of those. Oh, yeah. we Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Cheers. you. And the BAFTA goes to David Roger for Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noel.